big news. Oh, big news. £85 million pound, apparently Barcelona wants to, to, to pay Everton Football Club for the services of, of Richarlison for. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. And you know who I really want to hear more of? I'd love to hear more from like Newcastle fans and Southampton fans and Burnley fans on the evaluation of of Richarlison. That's their Liverpool fans, Wolves fans. I just wish there was like some application that I could log onto on my phone and just read the opinions of fans of those clubs and find out what they think because I'm I mean just my personal opinion, but I, I think, you know, their opinions are surely incredibly valid. I mean, they watch Richarlison twice a year. They know how good he is. And they all think that Everton should sell him for £85 million. They think Everton are a little bit mental for turning this down because, again, depending on who you believe, I mean, there is a theory out there that Sky Sports, Talk Sports, Jim White, they may want you to tune into their channels to keep her abreast of all the latest transfer news. Just a theory. I'm just speculating. Maybe, I mean, I think Sky have their own bookies, don't they? It's called Sky Bear. Maybe they want you to go on there and place a little bet that Richardson's going to Barcelona. Again, just speculating. Because um, it's not like... Jim White hasn't shagged the transfer window to death now. The January transfer window has been metaphorically shagged to death by Jim White. It can't take any more. It doesn't want any more. It, it, it enjoyed it at first, but now it's just... Oh, not again, Jim. Maybe tomorrow. Do we have to? It's like... It's one of them. And there's not a lot happened, has there? I mean, you've got Fernandez, Bruno Fernandez to Man United and like Christian Eriksen to Inter Milan, which that one was basically, that one's been going on since World War II, uh, that speculation. So that's finally over the line. But apart from that, again, it's going to be another one of them, isn't it? So these outlets need to, they need shit to run with. But, playing devil's advocate, it is, it is also relatively rational that, Barcelona could be interested in Richarlison. And although I think it is highly improbable that Richarlison will move on, all joking aside, this month, it is an out of the rounds of possibility that he could go to Barcelona in the summer. Why not? Why not? The kid has scored 26 goals in 95 appearances for us. Um, he Works incredibly hard. He is by far our best best player. Incredibly talented. He's got a lot to his game. He seems to get better and better. Like if you were to map Richardson out on a graph, it'd just be like this, wouldn't it? But really, I mean, so it, look, it, uh, look at his his, his 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 stats this season. Uh, people talk about Marcus Rashford as the savior, potential savior of English football. Richardson's a Brazilian international now. Why wouldn't Barcelona be interested in him? He's only 22. He's got his entire career. He's already a really, really good Premier League footballer with a lot of talent and a lot of scope to get a lot better. So why wouldn't you know Barcelona be interested in him? And you know what? For Everton, from our, from our perspective, I do not think that it's a good idea to sell Richarlison for 85 million, for 100, mil, 100 million, for 125 million, because ultimately you bring in a world-class manager, you want to build a side that's competitive. You can't afford to let your best players go. It's counterintuitive, really. You get these good players, then you let them go. However, you know, I'm sure that many of you will be listening to this thinking, mate, 100, 100 million, 125 million. We'll take that. Eighty-five million, you, you might you might be willing to accept it, and and I understand it's a lot of money, and there's the financial fair play considerations to consider uh, for for the club, um, but it is counterintuitive. You've got a, a diamond footballer there who potentially is only going to get better. The market's inflated. I mean, realistically, how much can you utilize that cash to strengthen? Do you need to use that cash to strengthen? Where 
a relatively wealthy club now. And apart from the financial fair play aspect, I'm not. It's not evident to me that Everton need that money. Um, but he's our best player, and he's got a deal until 2024. So you know that that was clever from the club, I think, to to to, to get him signed up to that new deal recently. Um, but it's plausible that Barcelona are interested. I don't think he's going to go in January. Um, I don't think he's going to go in over the next couple of days. Um, but in the summer, if he continues to perform at the level that he is performing at, yeah, it's plausible. Of course it is. Of course it is. But you let me know what you think underneath uh, this video. First of all, do you believe Jim White? Do you believe Sky Sports News? Do you believe Talk Sports? Or some of the other journalists who are... Who are, who are saying that there's, there's there's legs to this story, or don't you? And how much do you value Richarlison? And that? Let me know in the comment section underneath this video. As always, thank you for watching. I'm Adam Partington. You can find me on Twitter at Part Adam and at Instagram at Part Adam. Remember.